Hygienic Ingenious Supplies. What's up, Spikes? We're back. Uh, we're playing another um, sneak peek at the Caverns of Ixalan pre-constructed decks. Again, thank you to Wizards of the Coast for uh, providing them early so we can get to the content uh, filmed and made before and released, I guess, for uh, as early as possible. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this is uh, a little different than last time. We're playing the, again, the pre-cons. But we've made, or I've made specifically, I take the credit, or all the, the negativity, whichever you want to call it. Sure. Um, 10 swaps to each deck with a reasonable budget, I think is about $50, but um, yeah, so we've taken, taken the deck and make 10 adjustments. Um, the other thing that is also, I guess, different about this game is we have a guest again, but... That's you. That's you. Hi. <laughs> How y'all doing? Thanks for having me. Excited to play with these. That's great. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Okay, so I'll be starting us off. I won the die roll, which is uh, <laughs> why do the intro. You're sitting next to me, so yeah. ba basically anybody that who sits here, or if I'm sitting there, you know, I basically always go last. <laughs> yeah, that's, so. we, we have the math yeah, that actually true. proves that now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not last. And that's great. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, so today I'm playing a uh, hackball of the surging soul. Uh, it's a blue green merfolk deck that tries to uh, play into the plus one counter theme quite a bit. Um, and use the, I guess, explore and some uh, new map tokens that also exist in this set, which are pretty cool. Okay, so the cards that I'm swapping out are just, you know, more folk that don't really uh, play so well into the counters theme. Um, and we're adding more cards uh, that are either lords or plus one, plus one counter themed, like the Ozolith, um, Court of Garenbrig, or Madonna's Climb. I'm Maddie. I'm playing Carmen, Cruel Sky Marcher. Uh, this deck looks really similar to my Alenda the Dusk Rose deck, which is vampires, plus one, plus one counters, and sacrificing stuff to gain advantage and value. That's what I'm doing. So in Madison's deck, we've actually swapped out the commander because I believe uh, Carmen is a better aristocrat's general. Um, the other swaps we've made are slightly less focused aristocrat or vampire cards and brought in other cards that help the fact that we're playing all vampires like Patriarch Spitting and other more aristocrat cards like Bastion of Remembrance and um, Vito to kind of play into what vampires do really well. Yo, I'm Krim. I'm playing Admiral Brass Unsinkable. Uh, I'm trying out Grixis. I mostly play Selesnia. So this is going to be my first time getting to try Blue Magic. Uh, so I'm very curious to see how Blue and Black and Red play together. So in Krim's deck, again, we're swapping out some of the less um, generic pirate focus cards to try to bring in things that help other pirates and try to take advantage of Admiral's ability to bring uh, to cheat them into play. We've swapped out some of the not-so-good pirates and brought in some of the ones that help pirates more, like Dire Fleet uh, Poisoner, Dire Fleet Neckbreaker, and other cards like Raise the Palisade to take advantage of the fact we're playing all pirates. And I'm Elliot. I'm going last. As usual. Uh, playing the dinosaurs again. Uh, so helmed by Pantwaza, sun favored. Um, gonna try to do, I guess, what I did last time, but a little a little better, you know? Uh, just uh, dis uh, yeah, discover into extra dinosaurs and uh, overwhelm my opponents with huge beasts. So for Elliot's deck, Again, we cut some of the less impactful dinosaurs and brought in the ones that were missing, like a slew of Galtas, Gishath, and cards like Up the Beanstalk to help us draw cards. All right, guys, so we can get started. All right, so I won the die roll. I'll be starting us off here. Draw a card. I'm gonna play a secluded courtyard. I'm gonna name Merfolk, I guess. And Seems likely. I'm gonna play a Benthic Biomancer turn one. Wow. Wow. Pass turn. I will draw a card and play a tapped Path of Ancestry past the turn. All right. I'm gonna play Frostboil Snarl pass. Oh, and no free information. No free here. I may not have any lands, actually. I can oh. put one lander. Okay. Wizards do Ooh. love the reveal lands. My land for turn will be a Thriving Grove. Taps for green, but when it ETBs, I'm gonna name red. So I can tap it for a green or a red. Go ahead. Nice. Oh, nice. Untap. <laughs> Neither color I can see. <laughs> <laughs> I will Just play a forest. Of gray. And I'm gonna play a Cure's Follower. Ooh. Are you uh, curving out? I am. That's and I'm nice. gonna try to you move it. <laughs> try to move the combat and attack you got Madison. Recon deck? Excuse me. <laughs> for her uh, hateful Ellie comments. Nice. What did I do? Somebody, somebody's got out of my back, you know. Turn. And that'll be my turn. Go ahead. All right, on tap. Draw a card. I will play a swamp, and then I will cast an arcane signet. Whoa, so you're curving out too. And Solid. I'm going to play a Visceros here. Whoa. 
to hopefully a, deter any attacking. Go ahead. I got a two two. I don't know if that deters it. It probably doesn't. <laughs> like that makes and me I probably want to attack don't want to block. <laughs> I'm gonna play an island. I'm gonna play a Demir Signet, and I'm gonna pass. Alrighty. Uh, I will untap. Big expectations over here. Better have, better have a mana guy. I sort of have a mana guy. It depends what you consider a mana guy. Uh, I'm gonna match you with my secluded courtyard, but mine's gonna name Dinosaur. Makes sense. Then I'm gonna t add a colorless and cast this turn two soul ring. Okay. I'm, I'm not the threat because it was on turn two. Right? Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Right. Shake on it. <laughs> Arthur's frick. I'm attacking you. Uh, <laughs> green and two. I'm also going to play a Descendants Path. So it's not going to do anything for a while, but at the beginning of my upkeep, I get to reveal the top card in my library. And if it's a creature that shares a creature type with a creature I control, I may cast it without paying its mana cost. Get and if I don't cast it, I can put it on the bottom. That's a reprint. It is. Mm -hmm. It is. Yeah. All right. It's a, it's a nice reprint. You are yeah. too. Magic. I know magic. <laughs> um, sometimes. Well, you're a big Selesnia fan. I expect yeah, that. Yeah, as a Selesnia <laughs> fan, I do know that card <laughs> yeah. from my times casting it. I actually really like the, the reprint art. Yeah, it's nice. Yes, me too. Mm -hmm. I love green. It's a very good color. It's my favorite. Uh, fellow I, I fellow green. green mage. Yeah, yes, yeah. <laughs> hello green mages. Hello fellow green players. <laughs> oh, he forced me to play Grixis, <laughs> I guess. Play an island. Uh, and I guess I'm just playing Hackball here, right? Like, Seems good. Hackball. Oh. All right. So I try to move to combat. Be my combat. Uh, each perfect I control explores. So start with the Explodes. benthic biomancer here. Ooh! Oh, Ooh, that's, that's the one that makes one, the it? map tokens. Yeah, tell us uh, what that. So, uh, topography tracker is a three mana two two. When it enters the battlefield, create a map token. Mm -hmm. If a creature you control would explore, it instead explores and then explores again. Mm -hmm. A map token also is a artifact that you pay one sacrifice sorcery speed to make it a creature explore. Wow! So that's uh, oh, definitely a, a. This is a lot of exploring. I think I'm just sure. going to keep it on top, so it'll yeah. reveal for each of them and they will all get a counter. Well, I guess that's not true. So this one will explore and it triggers its effect whenever one more counters are put onto Benthic Biomancer, to draw a card and discard a card. Ooh, okay. So Busted. draw here. Seems good. Discard Stony Book Banneret. Mm -hmm. So then this what? one will explore. I'm gonna oh. add cards bash into my hand here. It's gonna be a good combination in a moment here. <laughs> in a moment. And then uh, here we go. Oh. Wait, that's actually nuts. Hold on. Oh. Wait a minute. <laughs> Do you just draw three right now? I only drew two and looted one. Okay. Oh, you drew three. Yeah, really? yeah, you did. Only. Three. only. <laughs> yeah, each Murphy you control explores is pretty is not bad. A pirate and in this deck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to move the combat and attack rogue. imminent threat Elliot DeWick here for two. I, I, you know, just because you called me imminent threat, I'll, I'll, I will have a deign soul not ring. to walk. Right. The sentence, I'm going to pass. Yeah. You're flying too close to the sun. You see, yeah. This, yeah. This, is, this is making you look too powerful. <laughs> Play planes this time. I'm gonna cast Twilight Prophet. Oh, that's, that's another very good reason. And when I tap Path of Ancestry to cast a creature, if it shares a creature type with my commander, I get to scry one. You may. Who oh, doesn't know the city's blessing mode yet? Yeah, not not ascending currently, right? You got mm -hmm. six permanents, need ten. Right. Passing after that? Um, or no, you're attacking? You too! A, A2, Maddie. I forget the Viserys can attack. All right, go ahead. Yeah, right? I just yeah. Not a, it's gonna be combo time. Such danger. One damage at a time. <laughs> Yeah. And then you're passing I after? Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna draw. I drew an island. And I'm gonna play blue black, right? Went from the signet, and then I'm gonna tap Frost Boil Snarl. Uh, I'm gonna play Shared Animosity. Whenever a creature I control attacks, it gets plus one plus zero until end of turn for each other attacking creature that shares a type with it. Yeah. It. All right, See. I'm going to pass. Look at us, you know, just friends doing typeful things. Yeah, you know? mm, except yeah. you all actually have the creatures. <laughs> <in your laughs> well, trip. I don't yet. I don't yet. Sure, but once um, you do, we'll know. Yeah, so interestingly enough, I do get this trigger, and if mm -hmm. I don't cast it, I do have to put it on the bottom of my library. So hopefully this isn't a good one. Oh, Tapic Hunt Master. That actually is a really good it one. It is a though. good one. Like, so we're, we're kind of sad to see that go. Love to see but, it. Uh, then I'll draw for my turn. Uh, I've got a basic planes, and because I'd like this to be online next turn, you know, I'm going to go uh, white, green, red, and then two, four, Pantlaza, Sun Favored. When they or another uh, dinosaur ETBs, I'm going to discover X, where X is that creature's toughness. Uh, do it only once each turn, and discover is. Pseudo cascade. So I'm going to exile cards from the top until I exile a non land card with 
uh, X mana value or less, and I can cast it without paying its mana cost, or put it into my hand and then put the rest on the bottom. So that pretty much is better cascade. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Isn't it? Oh, it triggers when it comes into play too. It does. Oh, that's yeah. really good. Yeah. <laughs> that's so like better than cascade though, because you can get because you card. can put it in your hand. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. can put it into your hand. This one yeah. is specifically only once per turn though. Yes. Uh, so four is the number. That's a two. Oh, so that's a good one. Too. A marauding Raptor is a two three, and it says creature spells I cast cost one less. Didn't even need this out of Pack Hunt Master, you know. <laughs> and this one also says uh, whenever another creature ETBs under my control, this will deal two damage to it. And if a Dino is dealt damage this way, the Raptor gets plus two plus zero oh until end of turn. I've killed many of those in standard. I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> Sluznia hates. I mean, yeah, because it's Sluznia <laughs> Slayer. Slayer. Yeah, I yeah, meant yeah. I fought a lot of those with my <laughs> right. fight removal spells that I use. Yeah. Yes. Also, um, the pirates. Have have not left the bay at all. Y'all are the no, docks. Y'all are, are popping off right now. Getting on the boat here. Okay, yeah. these, this is okay, cool. Yeah, yeah this thing goes kind of crazy, right? Like, immediately two dinos is yeah. kind of cool. I'm gonna pass the turn. <laughs> all right. This will be on relevant. Tech. Yeah, for precons, there's a, a pretty good showing so far. Everyone's really doing stuff pretty yep. quick. Yeah, everyone. Mm -hmm. Everyone. <laughs> everyone. everyone. All, all, all people. Everyone. Collect. Play a command tower. Uh, <laughs> three mana. I'm gonna play the topography tracker as also revealed earlier, which will make me a map token that has a lot of words on it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to Chart a course, if you would. <laughs> map my hackball. It's a magic card. Um, hackball is going to explore twice yeah. because of the topography tracker. Uh -huh. First one will reveal beast within, which I actually don't want right now, which oh, is maybe well, a bad sign good. for you guys. Yeah, what uh, the heck? <laughs> and then I will explore like again. <laughs> uh, Deep Root Elite is uh, whenever another merfolk enters the battlefield under your control, put a counter on Deep Root Elite. Uh, no, it's on target. On Murfolk. target yeah. Murfolk. Yeah. Far better. Yeah, even better than that. Um, I guess we'll leave that one. That's not true. I want to mill something cooler. What? Okay. Well, I'm going to explore a lot of times in a minute here. So I mean, know. I understand. I think but we're like, on the mill amount. Did he just make himself a much better up, like upgraded deck than the rest of us? <laughs> These are all in the pre-con, man. Right? Yeah. You can buy at your local checking. game store. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I would like to move to combat. Uh-huh. You got yeah, okay. four more explore triggers. I got a four four. I get it. And a two three. Okay. I get All it. Right. Just, first just first of here. many explore triggers. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Ward two. I do like ward two. I guess we'll just keep this one here. So it's going to go rewarded. Re so the first explorer is going to put a counter, and then I get the loot because of this card's specific ability. Oh. Whenever one or more. <laughs> so loot this. Goodbye, island. Uh, second explorer. Oh god, Kadama's each reach. of Goodbye. them explore twice. Uh, loot. Oh my god. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. You know, <laughs> Ellie already has a soul ring. I'm gonna discard Thada Adele. Nice. Explore. Uh, that's a new card. It is. Merfolk and Dryad you control in your graveyard have retrace. Oh, that's real good. That's kind of a combination with all the cards I'm milling. All of the exploring. But I also want to draw land, so we're just gonna keep not doing that. The land mm -hmm. that you threw away. Yeah, it's fine. I just want to get more of them. Uh, explore. Uh, oh, you right. can't throw that away. That's a lord effect. It's, oh my god. Is that a god. He's a mad man. <laughs> Merfolk enjoyers, totally don't look, game. don't look. <laughs> Merfolk <laughs> players <laughs> don't let their lords go. <laughs> uh, Court of Garenbrig. Um, I do like Court of Garenbrig. It makes me the monarch, but I don't want Elliot to be the monarch. So ah, Are we playing like CEDH here? <laughs> um, uh, sorry, I'm exploring actually. Um, <laughs> Add Island, uh, explore. Uh, whatever cast Merfolk spell, make a 1 1. <laughs> Fine, I'll leave that one. Leave oh, that one. oh okay. boy. And then we'll, yeah. leave, we'll leave it there again for the second one. You may attack now, if you'd like, now that your Merfolk are larger than my dinosaurs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you could double block. And I don't Please. want to. Please. <laughs> Please double block. <clears throat> so I will send in the 4 4 at you. That's still happening. Okay. We'll send in Hackball at Madison. And then uh, I just played this one. We're gonna actually keep up the follower. So Hackball's going to Madison, the 4 4 is going at Elliot. Yes, uh, take six. Yeah, I'm not blocking either. You don't wanna send four at me? Three, or something? No, I want three. the, I might need the mana for something. Oh, <laughs> oh okay. So sorry, uh, Elliot, you're taking four? I'm taking four, Maddie's taking six. You're going to 33, yeah, Madison. We're both going to 33. Yeah, yeah. both 33 all. That is all, I suppose. That's Wait, really I'm neat. I'm still I'm at 40. I don't know so why. So excited I to draw 33. my card and play one card. Oh, sorry. I did miss something. Oh. When this thing attacks, it has keywords that we forgot last game, kind of. Oh. But you may put a land card from your hand on the battlefield. Untapped? You may. You don't have to. It's okay. <coughs> yeah, it's a may. Oh, that's why you wanted the land. Um, oh, no. Mm. I put Karn's Bastion into play. So I cannot activate that. I actually forgot about this line of text, but I'll pass. Still. So are we all on the kill Aaron play? Yeah, I think yes. so. That's, it, it looks this like... This deck enemy is pretty fast. Yeah, what the but, heck? But, you know, as record shows, Art? Ellie goes a lot taller eventually. Yeah. Oh, play any other. So we have to live long enough to get to that arc. Yeah, uh, for real. 
I'm gonna cast my commander. Mm -hmm. You may. Ooh. What does this one do? Uh, so she's a 2-2 with flying. Uh, whenever a player sacrifices a permanent, put a 1-1 one -one counter on Carmen, and I gain one life. And whenever Carmen attacks, I can return up to one target permanent card with mana value less than or equal to Carmen's power from my graveyard to the battlefield. Oh. Apparently I have a very empty graveyard, though. So. Oh, you can always sack for Sarah Seer to Sarah Seer. I can. And then bring it I back. I can sack everything and bring it back. Mm -hmm. And attack Arian for two in the air. I don't know. I don't know what that. First blood. Pass. Oh, uh, just a quick question. Does the Merfolk deck have counter spells? I don't think so, to be honest. Did that, you that add counter a, spells? I did not. <laughs> that, that must be a lie. I don't think it does. What could you possibly need to untap that mana? Does, does it come with heroic intervention? It also or does not. Does it come with like swan song or? Nope. That's a counter spell, man. I wouldn't lie to your face. Spell or, you okay. would. You I would, would, would lie, lie to my face. I wouldn't. So I'm going to play Desolate play Lighthouse then. Um, which is yeah. looting and yada yada yada. Uh, but the most important part is there's a reason why I didn't play creatures for as long as I did. It's because oh. I had a blast from my over her. Blasphemous Axe! I just cast my command! Yeah, there are nine creatures on board, so it costs a singular red. I love yep. Blasphemous Axe. And I am I very also sad about it. I love Blasphemous Axe. My descendants path! I have no effects. Tap the Cures Follower, untap mm -hmm. Command Tower. Okay. Oh, That's okay. my move. I will sacrifice my Twilight Prophet to scry a card. You got yeah. it. <laughs> yes, yes. Yes. But you gain a life. Go on the bottom. Yeah, I get a counter and gain a life. So I'll gain yeah, two yeah. life, I will scry sure. three cards. That's fine. Sure. Okay, so you're gonna go 35 here? Yeah, I'm gonna scry two more. Yeah, I'm gonna start packing up all my guys here. Yeah, 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 guys. yeah. Please send those packing just for a second. The topographer tracker. I will keep that on top. Yeah, yeah, so that's why I didn't want to play any creatures. Mm -hmm. um, because I knew that if there's Merfolk, there's lots of things running rampant. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna make, I'm gonna tap Lighthouse to then make blue and a black, tap blue, blue, and I'm gonna play Skeleton Crew. Mm -hmm. Each other creature you control, that's a skeleton or pirate gets 1-1 one, one whenever one or more creature cards leave card, uh, leave my graveyard, create a 2-2 two, two skeleton pirate and pay 6, return this from the graveyard. Mm -hmm. Okay. Your Seems turn. good. Yeah. <laughs> you know, skeleton <laughs> things. It does skeleton things. Yeah, true. Uh, Descendants Path. Ooh. Rampant does not share a creature type Didn't want down. that one anyway, it's fine. I will draw for mm -hmm. turn. I will play Path of Ancestry mm -hmm. as my land for turn. I will pay three for a Kinjali's Sunwing. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that's creatures... really bad for Krim, though. Good. Creatures my opponent's <laughs> control enter the battlefield tapped. It's a flying 2-3. I just really needed to stick around for this stupid Descendants Path. Please! Mm. Go ahead. <laughs> that is funny that you've done this. You've done this to me How today. Dare you? <laughs> Let me read my commander again. <laughs> I'm going to draw. Uh, Play a land. Mm. <laughs> mm. I just need a dinosaur in it play. Appear, well, that's, it's not any dinosaur, it's that dinosaur. <laughs> sure, you can kill it after the my coming to play tapped is not great. Mm. But I'm paying six mana and I'm playing uh, hack ball again. Yep. Eight. Move to combat. Yep. Explore. Oh, true. Draw a forest. Draw a forest. Actually correct. Neat. Pass a turn. All right, that just tapped. does that? It just yeah. does that. That's a good card. I will play Secluded Courtyard. It comes into play tapped. I will choose Vampires as my creature type, so it will make mana when I cast. It does not it enter not. tapped. It does not. Oh, I thought it did. I can't Even read better. my cards. Or I can, but I just don't. True. <laughs> uh, I will spend five mana to cast this Bloodline Necromancer. Oh, that's uh, Trigger this thing to scry. Yep. To the bottom. And when it enters the battlefield, I can return target vampire or wizard card from my graveyard to the battlefield. I'm going to pick this Twilight Prophet. Bring, 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 bring. Almost, a, almost yeah, the uh, city of Still buzzing. eight permanents? Yeah. Yeah, heck yeah. yeah. And then I would like to play more cards, but I will pass the turn. All right. Oh, wait. Do these come into play tapped? Yes. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All tap yeah. renoed. We talked about it and then immediately forgot. Yeah. I'll Typical untap. Typical spike feeders. <laughs> I'll draw. It's not bad. You know, I think I'm going to... Play another blasphemous hand? No. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be great. I <laughs> wish that were the case, but no, no, no. So Lighthouse will tap for blue, black, mm -hmm. red, this. I would like to play my tapped commander. Yeah. And then I will mill four, <clears throat> right, when it enters. Mm -hmm. I've milled Zephyr Singer, Swamp, Is It Signet, and Swamp. I kind of want Zephyr literally Singer's any a, of those mm -hmm. lands. I don't have to do it. I'm gonna do it anyways though, because I get a pirate. <laughs> so, it's still a 4 4 flyer. Right? All right, so it's a 4 4 flyer, enters tapped, which then, whenever one or more creature cards leave my graveyard, I create a 2 2 black skeleton pirate, which will also be tapped. True. <laughs> and then I will go to combat. I'm gonna hit you with this. <laughs> it's a 3 3? Yeah. I'm taking 3 down All to right. 30. And after that, I'm just gonna leave up uh, Swan Song and pass. 
Oh, good, good, good. <laughs> Represents swan song, stern scolding, yes. all okay. of that. I'm gonna untap and quicken. I'm gonna finally to descendants off. path and have it matter. Hopefully, big, big dinosaur time. Land. No, oh. oh. twas a land. Okay. May I recommend exploring? <laughs> you may. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot, but you may. Uh, draw for turn. I am just gonna play this Temple of the False God, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, I guess technically eight. Temple of the False God. I do. Mm -hmm. I will replay my Duder Panthalaza Sun Favored. When it ETBs, I'm gonna discover X. Uh, X is four, so. Mountain. Ooh, Majestic Helioptorus. Four mana, two, two. Mm -hmm. It's a flyer, and whenever it attacks, uh, another dinosaur gets flying. Another target dinosaur. I'll go to combat. Mm -hmm. Grim. On this day, I'll remember this. Yeah, just you know, just leveling <laughs> the playing field for, for the everybody sun else. <laughs> right. You're at forty. That's all. That's, that's all. That's true. That's true. I am. Uh, I will pass now. Matching here. <laughs> On top. Draw. Play an island. Mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna play this deep root waters that I revealed earlier. Whatever I cast a merfolk spell, I'll create a one-one merfolk creature token with hexproof, and then play the other card that I revealed earlier, uh, Kubala, Warden of the Waves. So trigger my deep root thing. Deep root waters. Uh, a merfolk, yeah, a merfolk with merfolk. hexproof to go with your merfolk yeah. that gives things ward. Yeah, and these are all tapped. <laughs> all very important. That'll show us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, now importantly, I'm going to move to combat. Uh huh. Yeah. Three explorers, you say. Explore this one first. Huh. Add an island band. Explore. Okay. Huh. <laughs> oh, that's very That's funny. the name of the movie. I'm going to put my explorer in the river. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's a flavor fail. <laughs> yeah. I think that's actually a flavor Lord. fail. Oh, you can't do that. I've already, it's been done. <laughs> Explore one last time, add a moss wart bridge to my hand. Okay. Okay. Um, okay, and then I'm gonna move to combat. Mm -hmm. I guess I'm in combat. Attack Madison. Nah, die, attack him. Hey, wait a three. minute. Wait, you, all right, fine. Is that three? <laughs> yeah. yeah. 35. 35. And you yeah. have a. Whatever it attacks, I'm gonna put a land card for my. Uh, listen, uh, moss wart bridge. <laughs> nice. Hideaway. Uh, hideaway four. Uh, this one, does everything two, I despise about Sydney. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's doing a lot of stuff. I don't know what you're yeah, talking about. I want to put this one Can over here. Can you believe you wrathed two turns ago? I did? When did I wrath? I don't remember. It doesn't feel like I wrathed. <laughs> was it two turns ago? <laughs> it was, it was uh, one two. turn ago. Yeah. That is why I have no Oh, that's all Oh, I, I see. Because now it's that's my it. second. Well, you, go, well, you have a bunch of dinosaurs. You, you, you I have three. three. Yeah. You have, you have three Murphy. Okay, three, then you play another one. You play another one. You play another one. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to cast. Crossway Troublemaker. Oh, I love that card. <laughs> uh, it is a vampire, so I will scry one. Mm -hmm. I can see on top. All right, I will go to combat. Aaron, I have Death Touch and Life Link. I have no flyers. I can block this one, actually. Yeah, I actually, I can't block anything. Oh, uh, I'm not taking it, I'm taking four here. You're taking five. 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 That's okay. 33. 33. And I'm going to gain five, I go to 40. 40. Get Madison, she has most life. No! Pass the turn. All right. I'm going to untap. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All my stuff now. I'm gonna draw oh, your uh, oh, crossway. I'm, I'm sorry, yeah. it's tapped. How dare you? Please. That's a warning. This <laughs> is beautiful. I just drew Soul Ring, which is exactly oh, what see? I want to see. Oh, you got yeah. that mana? Yeah, now I do have that mana. And you know what I'm gonna do with that said mana? I'm mm -hmm. now going to one, two, three. I'm gonna open Windfall. Uh, oh. Uh. I like my hand though. Yeah, I know yeah. you've got a lot of cards. I've got four in my hand. I have six. I'm helping three. us all out. I have response. Three. I'm casting a spell in response on a spite. Uh, one mana. I have decided to rapid hybridization Madison's no! creature. No! Uh, nice. And you also get a tapped lizard. It is yeah, tapped. you get a tapped creature. <laughs> Sorry. Destroyed? Uh, yeah, yeah. Destroyed. I, I have a little buddy I for like you. I like a lizard, please. Frog lizard Your finest specifically. Lizard, Thank please. You. Your finest all right. I have no lizard. other effects to said windfall. I have now five cards in my hand. All right. Yeah, cool. So we'll right. draw, ditch our yeah. hands and then draw five? Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Uh, I'm discarding Canopy Vista, oh, yeah. Arch of Arazka, Galta Primal Hunger, and Earthshaker Dreadmaw. That was going to be a good cascade. It was going to be uh, a very I have Land Land, Evolution Sage, which I was trying to set up. Flexions of Lachara, Kindred Discovery. Ooh. I have Drana, Liberator of Malakir, right. Master of Dark Rites, and Welcoming Vampire. Ooh, Master of Dark won't be welcoming people in memory. I, I have Direfully Poisoner and Pirated Copy. Nice. Five um, new ones. I did not play a land this turn, so now I will. I'm going to play, actually, there's no way this is in this deck normally. I love that. All right. Uh, I'm going to play my old best friend, Nefalia Drownyard. You better believe that's in the deck normally. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm just so <laughs> happy. Kill myself. That... Four mana. Woo! <laughs> I love that. Okay. So I have a few things I need to do now. One, two. So blue, black. One, one. I'm going to play Hostage Taker. 
Oh. Ooh, yeah. yeah. That's a good turn. <laughs> um, yeah. I'll take your sun wing. Mm-hmm. Exile. This does not fly, right? Cor- no. Correct. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to go to combat. Mm-hmm. I'm going to get pirated copy back. Mm-hmm. I'm going to copy that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then I'm going to go to combat. Boy, that's <laughs> a lot of I said I remember everything. <laughs> well, let's see live totals here. Yeah. Let me see live totals. The skeleton's okay. not a pirate. Is it? it is a pirate. It is a pirate. It is it is a on pirate. top of that. Everybody's swinging. Where am I going, though? Okay. Maddie, I'm going to send a comfy, just pirated copy at you. Okay. And one of the skeleton pirates. These two will go here at you, Elliot, and then my commander over here mm-hmm. at Aaron. Okay. Oh, so they're all, getting, they're all getting plus mm-hmm. five. Five. Right? Cool. Yeah, cool. so this is currently eight. Oh, but then they're also uh, plus one on top of that. So plus oh. six. Sure. Uh, but this is other. So oh, not oh, yeah, him. yeah. Not him. Yeah, so sure. he's getting plus five. He, this is getting plus six. So yeah. nine and eight. Yeah. 17. Holy. Yelp. And then uh, this is getting six. So nine commander damage at Aaron. Yeah. And then, oh, I did say the least, so actually I'd be, li- sure, I'd be sure. lying to Maddie if I said that, if I did that. So I'm going to send the pirate sure. token at you, Aaron. Also so six. Elliot is going to yeah. go to 23? I'm going to 13. 13, yeah. Oh, 13. Yeah, I'm taking 17. Yeah. And that's six here, You're so that's nine, to... and that's eight. So that's 17 at Aaron. So Aaron is going to 18. Yep, and then you're getting Wild. a total of six damage at you, so Maddie. So I'm going to go to 13. Uh, Three. Eight, right? Oh, or eight, yeah, yeah. sorry, eight. 32. 32. 32. And then I will draw a card. Wow. Cool. That was it. Oh, that's That was all. it. Yeah, your turn. Okay. Get him. That's Great. it, right? Yeah. Really. On Super tap, chill. Upkeep, Descendants, Path. Ooh, it's a Terramorphic Unlucky. Expanse to the bottom. And I will draw for my turn. Uh, let's see what I hit off of Pantalaza, I guess. I will play a Myriad Landscape Tapped as my mm-hmm. land for turn. All right, so I have the city's blessing. Relevant. All the yes, you want. Is relevant. Yes, it is. Also, um, I realize I get another one of these two. Yeah, more and they're not and they're not tapped. Yeah, no longer tapped. Yeah. <laughs> cool. So I'll pay green, green, floating a colorless. I will cast Thrashing Brontodon. Mm-hmm. That sounds like it fights. No, it uh, <laughs> sack destroy target artifact. It destroys our shirt on And then it discovers for four with my Pandalaza. So I will uh, exile. Oh, you went for it, it. It would have been so sweet, though. Yeah. That's a four. Oh, wow. Yeah. Those are the Look good ones. Look at all these diamonds. Right. You can hit off Shared Automosity. Yeah, or Descendants. Or, uh, Descendants path. Path. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. so I hit Bronze Beak Foragers. Uh, this is another new one. So it's a four mana, three, four. When it ETBs for each opponent, exile up to one target non land permanent that player controls until this leaves the battlefield. So it's like a grasp of fate. Yeah. yeah. And then it has X white put target card with mana value X. Exiled with Bronze Beak Foragers into its owner's graveyard, you gain X life. Mm-hmm. So on this ETB, Jelly yeah. Up. So I, I'm I'm gonna target Hostage Taker. I'll target Twilight Prophet, I guess. Yeah, and I think the only thing I can target of yours is Deep Root Waters, Wards. unless I want to pay. You can pay too. You have I could. Oh, yeah, so I am using stuff. my mana, so mm-hmm. I will target the Deep Root Waters. No. So I will I will eat those things. Om nom nom. I wanted the deep blue water. That back. Ooh, my Kinjali's Sunwing comes back. I've got a colorless floating. Okay. Mm-hmm. Add two more and a green here yep. to play Knight of the Stampede. It's a four mana two four human knight that says dinosaur spells I cast cost two less. It's really useful with my one colorless <laughs> uh, pip dinosaurs. I'm at 13. Yeah. You should just I'm, tap out, though. I'm, I'm yeah. just going to pass the turn. <laughs> why, why did you leave a mana up? Uh, for no reason. Hmm. Absolutely no reason. Hmm. Yeah. I feel like my pirates are about to calm down a lot. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to be a lot less an- animosity Yeah, that's part of it. What if I told you if you didn't and then I leave you alone? Hey, you know. If, if they, yeah, I'm going to kill if, this, though. But oh, like, that's yeah, yeah, that's fair. Everything <laughs> else is safe. Yeah. And I need to get rid of this thing. No, again. again. Yep, yep, yep. So while they, the, sun, the Sunwing thing is getting real annoying. <laughs> It is, especially with what I, the card is true. I'm going to play a Hinterland Harbor. I'm going to play a Soul Ring. Wow. You know, I want everybody to be like part have of the squadron into a, one. there you go, Simic Signet. Look at me storming off here. You <laughs> are. Storm, storm count two. Storm count two. Add two mana. What's your party count at? Uh, zero. Oh, I have a wizard. I take it back. Cool. Oh, Thank you. One. See, almost misrepresented the board state almost. there. Mm-hmm. Dude. <laughs> Absolute um, classic Aaron maneuver. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, Nick Hazel, current conductor. Okay. It's a 2-3 okay. 
Merfolk Scout. Whatever a creature you control explores a land, you may put that land on the bat from uh, put a land card from your hand on the battlefield tapped. Whatever a creature you control explores a non-land card, put a plus one counter on this. What is everything synergized with your commander yeah, so nicely? So well. <laughs> it's kind of so well interesting. Oiled. Speaking of Simic, Simic Ascendancy. Oh, oh great. Oh no. That's so, an actual win condition? Yeah, I've it seen is. this before. <laughs> That's on the board. Oh. So is this thing tapped right now? Yeah. Yeah, sorry. This sorry. Cheater. All right, I Double guess cheater. I have to move yeah. to combat then. Okay. Explore this one first. Sure. Okay. That's actually I guess amazing. Good oh, but I want lands into play. That's actually That's totally amazing. Stupid. All right, I guess we leave. Oh, Island Walk. Let's go, baby. Counter, which puts a counter on this one. Counter, which puts a counter on this one. Counter, which counter on this one. And then I get another counter. Does he count himself? Doesn't Whenever, Simic Ascendancy uh, do anything else? Yeah, it's gonna do, it's gonna do something interesting. Um, it, that one gets two for itself, I believe. Yeah, that it's would just make whenever sense. Whenever a creature you control. All right, good, great. So I had five, <laughs> six, six, seven, eight, 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 nine plus one plus one counters on Simic Ascendancy. Cool. This is wild. Very good. We're definitely not gonna lose to that. Yeah. Well, I'm losing Everyone, to a lot. Also, I don't have very much going on here. I do have to mm -hmm. swing. That is a thing I have to. This one is for sure swinging. Mm-hmm. Big swing. I guess we're swinging over here since you don't have any flyers, right? Oh, that flies? Oh, this thing doesn't fly yet. Okay, I might have revealed my trick early oh, here. Oh, he's got something Declare that makes attack, fly. attack you, a few things happen. Trigger this, so I'm not going to put a land from my hand on the battlefield, so I'm going to draw a card. A mystery Merfolk of the Pill trend. Right, 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 uh, that I didn't see. Trend. And then before damage, mm -hmm. or before blockers, I should say, so very specific. I'm going to cast, I'm going to activate Moss Warp Bridge. Okay. Uh -huh. To cast uh, Mist Dancer. It's Eight. a 3-3 three, three flying merfolk. Other merfolk you can draw a plus one plus one a flying. Oh my god. And it has Very encore good. for seven. Very okay. good. Well, I guess flying. that answers that. Then no, I will not block. All right, yeah. <laughs> take a big five. Main phase two. Play a mystery master of the pearl trident I have drawn. Yeah, didn't, uh, we didn't know this about one that. he prepared earlier. I um, do not know if I can... If, if, if I have the, the ability I mean, I'm to... I'm definitely not doing anything over here, so... Do you remember that part? Yeah. Just your pal Krim drew you some cards. Yeah. <laughs> I technically gave uh, you all more cards. That's true. So, and I was I like rewarded my, by like losing my, my stuff. <laughs> and having everything enter tapped. Yeah. True. Since true, Aaron true. is having a nice little peek through his graveyard, I'm going to play this Pachuca Bog and yeah. next oh. your graveyard. Yeah, I was looking at all the cards that I had in my hand that yeah, I don't have well, anymore. Yeah, I'm sure you're thinking about, hmm, what can I return? Well, what can I take? Don't worry. Plus, the answer is nothing. You. Uh, I'm gonna play I give you a, a frog wizard. A Yehenny. <laughs> you have a Yehenny. I will scry one mm -hmm. because it's vampire. I always forget that part. Yeah. Either born Me or too, and then I get yelled at. So. I'm also going to play Etchings of the Chosen. I will oh. choose vampires. Makes sense. So Expected. my vampires yeah. will get plus one, plus one, and then I can pay one, sacrifice a vampire, and target creature I control gets indestructible until the end of the turn. You got it. Okay. Neat. The, those are big boards. I'm going to pass. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm going to untap. So I have the city's blessing. Mm -hmm. You do. Oh, so yeah, right. This is going to trigger now. Yeah. Yeah. Because it is a copy of. Uh, uh, so I reveal, and you all take damage equal to CMC, Wait, and then do I gain life? Blessing, you gain, yeah. yeah, so each opponent loses X and you gain X. Yeah. Whatever the biggest CMC is. How about zero? How's zero doing that? <laughs> Not you get it to your hand, though. <laughs> That's true. You do get the draw card. card. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo! All right, I'm gonna play Unclaimed Territory, Pirates. You don't want to name dinosaurs? No, not this time, unfortunately. Uh, frog mm -hmm. lizard. <laughs> <laughs> frog lizard. <laughs> so... I see that you very easily could blow up my shared animosity. It it depends where where the pirates are going, you know. Maddie's at thirty two, Aaron's at eighteen. Yeah, but Maddie yeah. has these three. <laughs> Aaron yeah. has lethal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you have all my stuff, and you can kill me eventually. <laughs> yeah, so there you go. yeah. And the worst part is everything still enters play tapped. All right, one, two, three. I'm gonna play fell flagship. Ooh, which yeah. will then pump all my pirates plus one plus zero and uh, you know some other things some other vehicle type stuff right mm -hmm. yeah, yeah we'll get there if we'll, we need it we'll get there maybe blue black one drown yard mill myself mm -hmm. sure two right uh three. Ooh. two hit lands all right <laughs> didn't want to draw me yeah i didn't i didn't need those didn't need those the okay. Twilight Prophet. well i'm gonna go ahead and pay two and not do that now because there's no point. So okay. I'm gonna move to combat. Mm -hmm. Now, we have to have some kind of agreement here because no if I let you attack, it'll trigger, the it'll trigger this. It'll trigger this. Yes. So, are any of these things coming at me? I'm only going to send one thing at you. Okay. That's just, that's, just one, right? Like I think that's a better sure. deal than the it's, entire. It's, it's mm -hmm. currently acceptable. I, I will okay. not. I will not blow up the the shared animosity 
in response to you going to combat then? I'm going to go ahead and do the Admiral Brass thing. Mm -hmm. You got it. Yeah. This enters. I'll give Beckett Brass Death Touch. Yeah. And plus one, plus one. Plus one, <laughs> plus one, and Death Touch. This, mm -hmm. is, this is very true. Oh, I think this maybe does not work the way you want it to. This gives target attacking pirate. Oh, it's oh fine. it doesn't matter. I just yeah. read this. Oh, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just yeah, want, I wanted another, another pirate. That's another what skeleton. I wanted. And it's a 4-4, four, four, right? Yeah. yeah, base power 4-4. Four, four. Yeah. Okay, so I need to remember that these also... Act, I actually think I swung more than I did a few turns ago, because these are all 4-4s four, at base. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, I guess it would have only been one more power, right? Yeah, plus one more, because then all of yeah. these would be plus one. Yeah. So I would have taken one more. Maddie would have taken... Yeah, two more. If that's just a 4-4 four, four instead of a 2-4. Yeah. Yeah. So right. I'd be at 30 instead, and you would be I'm at, at 12. Yes. So this enters play tapped, but it is technically a 4-4. Four, four. Mm -hmm. So then I'll go to combat. This is just going to all go over to you, Aaron. Mm -hmm. And then how many blockers do you have? Three? Uh, two. Three at you. This is going at you. And this is going to go at you. Mm -hmm. The skeleton crew thing... not attacking? Oh, yeah, right. And this is also And your thing attack. flies, right? My thing flies, yes. Oh, yeah, because it's a copy of mine. Yeah. yeah. So I will have to take it. I mean, I want you to block. You want to block that? You're sending two you things at me? Should, can Ooh, I send two? Spicy. That's you, changing the rules. Yeah, you, you, you okay. said you wouldn't. All right, all right. So I'll wouldn't. send I'll send this. <laughs> I actually think I will leave one back then. Sure. Okay. So Shared Atomosity is giving plus five again. Yep. Oh, six. Sorry. Uh, six. No, oh, that's fine. Yeah, these two aren't attacking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, these are so yeah, Shared Atomosity plus five. Fell's giving this guy plus one. one. And yeah. Fell's giving plus one. The Fell flagship as well, yes. I will, so you go to one. No, I'm declaring a yeah, block right? with my Kanjali oh, Sunwing. That makes me happier. Yeah. And I'm not as... I'm, try, I'm trying to get if rid of it. If I block you know? just the Beckett, I take 7, 14 dead still. I guess I have to the block two of them. <laughs> that's okay. that's the goal. Yeah. So I'm going to have 7, 9 not blocked. So you're going to 9? So okay. something, I'm taking yes. 9, going to 9. Yeah. And then, Maddie, you're taking 11. 11. 11. 11. 19. And then I'll draw a card. Three, so, three, four. Yeah, four. I'm blocking here, blocking here. So this will take four. This will take four. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Beckett Brass in the command zone. Then I'm going to just politely. I'm going to tap uh, unclaimed territory. It was. It's on pirates. Mm -hmm. To then play enterprising scallywag, mm -hmm. which yeah. is actually untapped. Mm -hmm. So the beginning of my end step. If you descended this turn, create a treasure token. You descend if a permanent card was put into your graveyard from anywhere. Mm -hmm. So I get a treasure token, and then I pass. Alrighty. I have so much stuff. Uh, I will untap. Descendants. Oh, I'm totally missing all my handy triggers. No, oh. you have to. Was it? Whenever controls? a creature an opponent control dies, okay. you put a counter on um, the There was one, two. So you had two. I had one. Three, so three four, five. I had two. Five. Yeah, five, five total. You got okay. It. Okay. Good. I think we're all caught up. Good. Then. Playing attention. Uh, my triggers here. Descendants pass. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a good one to hit. Uh, yeah. yeah, so this is Galta Stampede Tyrant. I mm -hmm. will cast it uh, without paying its mana cost. When it ETBs, uh, I may put any number of creature cards from my hand onto the battlefield, and I will also discover 12. The creature from my hand onto the battlefield will just be this topiary stomper. Mm -hmm. So that tutoring ability. Yeah, so that is search my library for a basic, put it on the battlefield, tapped. I will just, I will discover 12 first, okay. I guess. That's fine. Uh, land, another land. <laughs> That's actually not right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so Apex Ultasaur is uh, when it ETBs, it fights up to one target creature I don't control. And then when it is dealt damage, it fights up to one target creature I don't control. That ETB will go on the stack. I will fight this guy. You were targeting my stuff, right? Yes, your skeleton <laughs> So they will, they will fight. It's not a bite, right? right. So if I it, gave this death bite. touch. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. I think that's fine. Okay. Interesting. How much damage uh, does it take? Uh, it takes one, two, that's a, thing dies, so I get a count. That's a four, yeah. right? Yeah, it's a four. Yeah, so yeah, five four, more four damage, enrage trigger, I'll fight this thing. Yeah. Okay. That's three more damage. Uh, it does three more, uh, so it has seven damage, you enrage two. trigger. I'll fight the bloodline necromancer. You don't have to fight. I want to. Uh, okay. I will sacrifice it to make this indestructible until end of turn. No, oh, you, you should okay. not do that. You, no, wait. This way it, it dies. dies. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. And you'll gain three. You'll yeah, score. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, 22. <laughs> 11. And then I will resolve my topiary stomper. You got it. Off the topiary stomper, I'll just get a basic forest. Tapped. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh, it can attack or block gaming. And I think that was all in my upkeep, yeah. right? So I'll draw a card for my Wild. turn. You got yeah. it. Right. All right. I still have more to do. I will play this Evolving Wilds. 
as my land for turn. So I'm gonna tap four. I would like to cast a Chroma's Will. Yeah. That's in the pre-con? Yeah, it another is. Wow! Um, so because right, well, I control can... my commander as yeah. I cast a spell, all my creatures are going to get Flying, Vigilance, Double Strike, Lifelink, Indestructible, and Protection from all colors. That's really cool. <laughs> Little artifacts, can I block with Fellship? You could. I actually could, but yeah. I forgot to crew it. I'm <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Okay. So then I'm gonna go to combat here. Okay. Attacking still a choice. <laughs> still, it, uh, arguably still a choice. Are you going yes. to kill me, even though I didn't. I kill can't you? kill you. I, I don't have thirty. Yeah, I'm gonna attack Aaron with the bronze beak foragers and the Helioptorus. That kills me. Presumably ten after hey. double strike, and I'm gonna attack Krim with the rest. So eighteen. Well, I see her. It's okay. I see her. I see her. He's don't... just letting me hang out. It's not a big deal. They have Vigilance and Lifelink. I'm gaining a ton of life here. my friends. <laughs> um, first strike damage? First strike damage. Uh, Aaron takes five down to four. Krim takes 18. nine oh, yeah, down nine. to 21, and I gain to 26. Combat damage. No effects to Olympic Summit. Aaron will... goes to negative one. Bye, Aaron. <laughs> I will comfortably uh, go to 12. Yes, and I go to 40. I'm going to pay two to crack this Myriad Landscape, and I'm going to crack this Evolving Wilds while I'm at it. Mm -hmm. Off the Myriad Landscape, the lands that I'm finding are forests, and off the Evolving Wilds, it'll be a mountain, and then I'll pass the turn. Hey, I'm dead. I would like to help. <laughs> I would have also liked to help. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. I think I would have died on your turn. Criminal died on my turn. <laughs> <laughs> well, your Criminal Spells only till end of turn. Yes. Yep. So yes. which one creature should I get rid of? It's the... Uh, this one that is the 12, 12, 12. Oh, stuff, oh, right? sure. Oh, oh, oh thank you. That'll, if, see, so that yeah. gives me back my hostage taker to then take something. That's two removal Which spells. is not bad. Yeah. I'm going to cast Patron of the Bane. Ooh. Yeah. It is Vampire, I will scry. Yep. Keep on top. Sure. And so Fight, it's going to destroy a something. target creature and opponent control, so it'll pick that. Bronze Beak Foragers we'll down. This back. Maddie Ooh, gets her Twilight Prophet back, blessing. and she does certainly I have the City's it. Blessing. And then you've got a Hostage Taker trigger. I'm going to take your gold. The the 12-12? Yeah. You're sure? Eight mana, right? It does have an ETB. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And when it ETBs, mm -hmm. I get to put all my creatures into play, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. This may be back for uh, Well, I, we don't know about that, because <laughs> right, remember what I'm yeah. putting into play. <laughs> Wiener Pirates. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right? Little Weenie Hut Junior uh, Pirates. Play Swamp. Play Bloodgast. Ooh. Oh, that's a good one. Uh, oh, it doesn't have try. haste. Oh, Which is yeah. the same card. Shocking. Also, something of Elliot's died, so I think you Henny Gross. It did. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, the four. Pitch it for 10. 10. 10. 10 ball. Or sorry, 11. So I have a count. 11. Ooh. No blocks. Okay. Go to 29. There, I helped. You're so I did a comfy. Thing. You, you <laughs> did. I did something. Thank you. You did the thing. Go ahead. All right, I'm going to untap. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I feel like you're saving your turn for me. All right, well, I drew a card. Breaches. Oh, oh! Uh, everybody takes four. I gain four. I'm gonna put this into hand. Then I'm gonna go ahead and play Arcane Signet mm -hmm. off of Soul Ring mana. I'll spend a red from Frost Broil or Frost Boil to then cast Faithless Looting. Mm -hmm. Sure. I'll go ahead and throw away Arm Mounted Anchor and Island. Okay. Okay. Then I'm going to spend eight mana here. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. That's a lot of mana. I'm going to play Galta. Uh huh. <laughs> known uh, known pirate. Known yeah. Pirate. Known El pirate. Elder Galta. dinosaur pirate. It says yes. it right yeah. there. <laughs> Which will then put all my creatures into play. <laughs> That's so. really neat. I'm so happy I listened to you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I like it. Uh, <laughs> My unbiased uh -huh. opinion. Do any of them have haste? Ooh, wow. No, they don't, Captain except Lattery this one. Storm does. Okay. So these do. So I'll go ahead and move the ones that can't do anything. I'm going to crew fell flagship. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to go ahead and move to combat. Just remember everything I did Yeah, for we, you. we have to try to have an understanding here again. <laughs> the uh, the no, understanding no, 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 no. here. We have the understanding. <laughs> Look at this board. Well, I'm just going to blow this up then. <laughs> I, I, I figured as much. I figured as much. There's We're at the point now, I don't okay. think I can keep this. Okay. But it's like removal. It, it, it is, yeah. Unfortunately, I do have to do this before letting you attack me. That makes sense. That makes sense. I don't know that it helps because uh, I'm getting rid of a blocker, but it, it has to, right? It well, has as to. opposed to them getting plus right. seven plus oh. Yeah. Uh, you exile it? 
Okay. Yeah. And I put a plus one, plus one counter on every vampire I control. And I get sure. another counter. Oh, I don't think you get one no, of this. It's one of the other. It's, it, it, this one, will exile Yeah, everything. it's a replacement effect. Oh, well, I'm going to pick this one. Yeah, that sure. was better. <laughs> All right. All right. So, Maddie, I'm going to just send Pyre to copy at you. All of these will go at Elliot, and I'm going to get a treasure token again. Right from Lannery? Uh, yep. From Lannery. Okay. So, I have two treasures. I will be taking five. I'm going to hopefully not get annihilated block here. So you're you're taking damage. You're taking yes. ten. Yes. First, I'll draw a card off pirated copy. Mm -hmm. Sure. Then breaches will trigger. So whenever it deals damage to your opponents, exile the top card of each of those opponents' libraries. You may play those cards this turn. Spend mana as though it were mana of any color. Okay. Yep. So one off each yep. of ours. Yes. Ooh, mine's a land. <laughs> I may play. Yeah. I don't I'll, believe I played I a land. I don't think so either. Right. So I'll play this. Sure. Play Jungle Shrine. Mm -hmm. Can't so necessarily catch that, yeah. but I do draw a card. <clears throat> uh, these will die. So you have two things dying? You have... None. None. None? Okay, so this will trigger twice. So mm -hmm. your creatures that die get exiled. And right. I put two oh, more counters on each of my Oh, right. Things. Oops. Yeah, Patron of the Vein. That's right. Hmm, scary. Go ahead. Okay. I think we're losing to the Vampire deck again. <laughs> we, we are! <laughs> Descendants Path. Big money. No Ooh, that's way. actually oh. really good. That's actually big money. What does it do? Game so life. it's a seven mana five five when it ETBs at gain life equal to, or sorry, when it or another creature ETBs under my control, gain life equal to that creature's toughness. That's so cool. I will cast it without paying its mana cost. It'll ETB, I'll gain five. Then I will discover five. Oh. Uh, yeah, uh, nice and easy. It's a Waita Trainer Prodigy, which will also gain me five life. <laughs> Okay, wow, five. 25. This one again for uh, either those, I guess, that didn't watch the last game or those that need a reminder. It's a 1-5 human warrior with haste. It's got two and a green. Tap it. Target creature I control fights another target creature. That ability costs two less to activate if it targets two creatures I control. And if a creature I control being dealt damage causes a triggered ability of a permanent, I control the trigger, triggers again. So it's Panharmonicon-ish. Now draw. Now I'll draw for my turn. Okay. Uh, surprisingly, it still has to be pretty good for me here, I think, for me to get through anything. Tough. I'm going to start things off by cycling this migration path to draw a card. Seems strong. Mm -hmm. I will play this untapped Cinderglade. Look at that. Uh, and tap this Temple of the False God to play this Arcane Signet. So I will pay three and tap this uh, Waita Trainer Prodigy to have Verdant Sun's avatar fight your frog lizard. I will sacrifice it to Yeheni to give it indestructible until end of turn. You got it. Hmm, tough. <laughs> <laughs> okay, those things have flying. Do you have any flyers untapped currently? I do not, no. but okay. I promise you that you don't want to hit me. Maybe I can convince her to kill you or something? I mean, instead of that, how about you and I stop no, no, hitting no, 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 She has no, big no, no. flyers. What am I supposed the to do? The vampire that you block. Mm, no. I you block I, I with it. So. You you sweat, You wait, and then we team up, <laughs> and we figure out how to deal with the vampiric threat. I'm going to go to combat. I'm going to attack you with both of these. Trigger and give this flying. So it's just for six. Oh, so I'm dead. I got 16. 16. No, I'm dead. Well, if she attacks you. Tentatively yeah. dead. <laughs> I'm pretty much dead. Yeah. So not only did I swing for nothing, I also crewed to only die. Oh, card. oh. oh that is oh, bad. Oh, I'm sorry, I have a Reveal game. that. Yeah, yeah. reveal that card. It is a swamp. Great. <laughs> Great. stolen information. Yeah. What number is that swamp? <laughs> Write that down. 397. Thank you. <laughs> okay, okay. Right. Then you draw a card, no card normally. Yeah. Oh, well, tap the one that lets me scry for an Avrin fame. Oh, yeah. yeah. That can go on the bottom. Can I convince you to kill Elliot? I can try to kill you both. Uh, no. Cast a Soren. Which Soren is this? This Imperious is Blood Lord. Lord. Uh, that doesn't help. Uh, <laughs> plus one. So target creature I control it gets death touch and lifelink until end of turn. If it's a vampire, I get a counter on it. Okay. Maybe I should pick the flyer, but I like this one. Sure. I'm going to go to combat. Uh-huh. And I'll attack Krim with uh, Patron of the Vein. I will attack Elliot with Yeheni and... Bloodgast, that's he, it. He does not have any flyers. If you attack him with the Prophet too, he dies. You, if you swing here... Oh, you have 10. Wait, 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 wait. No, instead, no, no, of, instead, no, no, of, instead of killing me... No, no, no. You can help me kill, like, take Elliot out. Please, I learned then... my lesson last time I listened to you and you put, like, five creatures in a golf handle. But they were bad. That. No, no, no. no they were all bad. They were bad. No, wait, don't do it. When I attack, I'm going to make some vampires. Oh, are they attacking? They are not attacking. Okay. They get lifelink, though. Okay. 
I'll make one, two, three, four of them. Four of them? I am deaded. Oh, you make Yeheni? one token. Yeah, you make one total. Whatever one or Oh, one. one total. Okay, I will block the Yeheni with my Knight of the Stampede. Okay. Dead thing. I guess you do. You, you get your Patron of the Vein stuff, if you'd like. <laughs> yeah, post-combat. Yeah. Notably, Madison gains, what, 14 here? Or 12, yeah. or 15. Oh, does she? 15, 15 And then all yeah. of my stuff is getting a counter. Uh-oh. Yes, I'm taking six from that. Seven. Um, etching to the chosen. Oh, this just got a counter. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, oh, sorry. Six. So nineteen. Six. And Maddie's back up to twenty-eight. Yeah, that's bad for me. Go okay. Ahead. Uh, I'll untap. You need a chrome as well. I need a second of chrome as well. Pretty bad. Yeah. Um, Descendants Bath. It's a planes. Mm -hmm. They can't all be hits. <laughs> yeah. Draw for turn. I've got an unclaimed territory that can name dinosaurs. I have one flyer. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm just gonna pass. Do do your worst. You're a 19? I am. Oh wait, I have to yeah. this first. Draw it, draw it. Two. Oh. I go to 17, you go to 30. <laughs> yeah, okay, draw a card. Yeah. Play swap. Mm -hmm. Class, Cruel Celebrate, scry one. Yup. To the bottom. Cast, Cordial Vampire. What does that one do? Uh, whenever it or another creature dies, I put a 1-1 one -one counter on every vampire I control. Okay. <laughs> Tick up Soren. Uh, I will choose this one. Sure. Uh, it gets a counter. Yep. Go to combat. Yeah. Can I kill you if I attack you with all of my stuff? I don't know. I don't know. What <laughs> but you don't die on the crackback. Yeah, because yeah. uh, uh, yeah. how much of your stuff so has you life? Attack. Line? So mm -hmm. I can block the biggest liar and biggest creature. Okay. So 10 so and those. 16, and then that would mean I'm taking 17 and dying. Very good. This can block the small vampire and also not die. Relevant. Yeah, so those are the three blocks that I will make. The Patron of the Vein, the Yeheni, and the oh, Life. Yes, thing. Yeah, the Lifelink Vampire. And then after blocks, I'm going to try to pay three here uh, to my trainer prodigy to have the Sun's Avatar uh, fight Maverin Fane. Okay, I'm going to pay one and sacrifice Maverin Fane to this thing. Okay. Trigger the. Oh enemies. no. So I will put. Uh, whenever it or another creature control dies, you lose a life, I get a life. Yes, okay. I th and then yeah, whenever I, up, I? I put a counter on all of my vampires, so then I will just also sacrifice this vampire. And then the I'm taking, thing. yeah, and I go to I 15, and then that's, they each get a counter, right? Yeah, so it's everything gets a, a, a counter count, Ugh. not that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the important one yeah. is you're dead. I die. Yeah. The thing is there's okay. so many counters. <laughs> Everywhere. Wow! Shouldn't have killed me, dude. Uh, you were just gonna Shouldn't kill me. Have. I wasn't. I All was right. trying to help you kill no, me. No, no, I was doing no, nothing no. for so long. It was it right was for like you to kill and me, this? and I would have killed you if you did not kill me. Yeah, so that's <laughs> I. That I believe. I, I genuinely was not going to kill you because I knew that because I could not kill Maddie without you. I stuck yeah, that when that's fair. <laughs> like I could not time. kill Maddie without. I did have captivating. Dude, the one that like captivated crew, crew. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. which would be able to steal, <clears throat> swing, but then I needed yeah. you to then finish the job. Yeah. I was going to kill Krim. And Hopefully. then work on you guys. Yeah. Fair. So how do everyone like their decks? Uh, yeah, I liked it a lot. Your uh, oh, what, an insane what a surprise. Though. You like the... Yeah, I, I, I do like the dinosaur. Really? Uh, yeah, I think, I think yeah. the I addition you made of the, that Galta, you know, it only hit one creature for me. Still loved it. Yeah, it's still a 12 12 trample. For me. It did a lot better in the pyro tech, actually. Maybe yeah. you should add to the pyro tech, make a note, make a note of that. <laughs> yeah. Um, Hackwall feels like really good. Um, that deck rolls out so fast. It, it's almost like the problem in how both of the games we've played, or the games we've played, is like this deck comes out swinging really fast, which yeah. puts a target on its head, which makes sense. And then the Vampire deck's kind of it's a squeak. Yeah, it just kind of slides problem. under there. You slides in some... in the night. Just... Yeah. yeah. So I guess uh, to know for, for the upgrades uh, that I made for these decks, we did not have access to the complete uh, Caverns of Ixalan list, so that's why there's a there's a lot of, lack there's of no, those cards. Yeah, noticeable no new cards. The only ones that we did add were ones that they've already spoiled. So um, the pirate, the dinosaur, yeah. uh, nothing else really. But I imagine the Admiral deck will get better post spoiler Right. because I think if you want to build around Admiral Brass, there's just not enough like big ETB. Uh, pirates in mm -hmm. this uh, to make it really work. I think the other commander, the one that cares about stealing your opponent's stuff, is works a little better. What about the old Ixalan All Star Arcane Adaptation? Yeah, oh, so true. you can build an interesting deck with this card with Arcane Adaptation and Conspiracy, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and then reanimate whatever you want, and it's yeah. super That's super funny. Sweet. Yeah, um, I think Hackball out of the box is really good. There's like it was like, kind of hard to find actual upgrades for it. It's, mm -hmm. it's missing very little. Minus the only Lord, it's missing is Lord of Atlantis. <laughs> um, the Dinosaur deck is notably missing. Every Galta, 
a darn and, shame. And some yeah. older dinosaurs, but still, it, it's a it's a good way to improve the deck. Right. The vampire deck is like maybe the most in the middle because it kind of wants to be this lifelink deck, kind of wants to be an aristocrat deck, mm -hmm. kind of wants to be this mid range pile. Yeah. And it's difficult to go in any specific direction mm -hmm. without kind of overhauling it. But the yeah, cards I really as wasn't a sure how this was going to play out at the beginning when it was kind of a little bit behind everybody else. Mm -hmm. But it definitely came back. Yeah, you snuck yeah. in there for sure. For sure. So. Yeah. Yeah, I guess uh, thanks again to uh, Wizards. This, mm -hmm. again, was uh, ambassador-sponsored content. Thank yes. you to them for letting us be a part of that program so that we can bring sweet content like this to you guys. Like uh, yeah, while it's fresh and new. Yeah. And uh, another and guest to come in and play yeah, cards. Grim. You really come out of break out of the yeah. shell here. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I really went out of my... Do you, you think you'll play Grixis? Grixis? Out of your, out of your gap, did you here. enjoy it? Or? I think I'll go back to Selesnia. This, oh, yeah? this, this yeah. doesn't play yeah. much. Stay in your lane. You know, just don't, I, I, just, you know, I don't like this. Yeah. <laughs> well, ca catch Krim next time playing Selesnia. definitely a Selesnia deck. Definitely Selesnia deck. Bye.